we're talking low humidity, no rainfall, more sun than yesterday, and comfortable air. Yes. This morning, just the jacket, though. I'm just giddy. Doesn't it? I, I, we're all, like, in such good moods, and I think it's because of this. There's like, no humidity and heat yeah, or exactly. a hurricane. <laughs> yes. I will Sorry. take all, all of that. Above, all I will above. take all of that, right? Listen, yeah. I'm t I'll take the wind where we can get them. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, today's going to be one of the last days that we'll have temperatures in the 40s and 50s to start. Afternoon highs in the mid-70s because then it will start to gradually warm up in the afternoons and in the morning. So if you enjoy this weather, take full advantage of it. Look at how cold we are compared to this time yesterday, about 15 to 20 degrees in some locations. It is a significant change and the first true fall front of Central Florida. We're down to 57 in Orlando, 55 in Deland, 54 in Leesburg, a very chilly 49 degrees in Ocala. And then as you go towards the coast, it's much warmer, all thanks to an onshore wind, 67 in Melbourne and 62 in Palm Coast. Now today we're still going to be considered unseasonable reasonably cool high temperatures into the low and mid 70s, whereas averages are in the low and mid 80s and that we're we're still going to be unseasonably cool by about 10 degrees or so. Again, a significant change. High pressures in control front down to our south with that high pressure and dry air. It's going to clear out a lot of the clouds today. So already this morning we're off to a clear and dry start. You just need the jacket as you get the kids ready for school, but no umbrella because when you pick them up, we'll still have sunshine and no rainfall in the forecast. So while the sunshine Today, rain-free, low humidity temperatures in the 70s. Now, tomorrow morning, west of Orlando will wake up to temperatures into the mid-50s. Orlando and east were in the low and mid-60s, so gradually warming up. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're in the middle and upper 70s with a couple of spots down south, including Winter Haven, Melbourne, Palm Bay in the low 80s. But we'll still be breezy out of the east-northeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Then by Saturday and Sunday, we're warming back up into the low 80s with morning temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Now Saturday, it's going to be comfortable. We'll stay on the relatively dry side, just an isolated shower along our coast. But then on Sunday with a strong onshore wind and a little more moisture, we'll stream in some showers for our forecast this weekend. On Sunday, a 20% coverage of rainfall and then really increasing on Monday to 30%. Monday, we're also back into the mid 80s and then Tuesday and Wednesday will start to dry out. High temperatures at 85 degrees with morning temperatures in the low 70s.